Oakland Mayor Libby Schaff released her budget proposal earlier today. The two-year spending plan totals more than $3.8 billion. $41 million of that would be spent on addressing homelessness in the city and creating more affordable housing. $692 million will go to the Oakland Police Department. The portion of the overall budget going to the police department slightly less than it has been in years past. Joining me now to talk more about this budget plan is Oakland Mayor Libby Schaff. Mayor Schaff, uh, good to have you on here today. Appreciate your time. Let, let's start with the public safety issue. Uh, you're, you're already getting some pushback on this, so let me ask you about it. Uh, obviously, you know a lot of community organizations called for you to cut the police budget by at least half and, and redirect that to community programs. Uh, you didn't come close. Uh, how come you aren't calling for more of the police department budget to be reallocated? to those social programs. Alex, we surveyed Oaklanders at the beginning of this process and 78% of them said that they want at least the same level of police services they have now, possibly more. But what this budget does is let us invest in reimagining public safety creating new systems while we still preserve the level of police services we have now. Oaklanders still want a 911 response. They want investigations. But this budget does create a new non-police response for mental health emergencies. It begins to migrate parts of traffic enforcement over to our civilian Department of Transportation, uh, similar with our special events permits. So we can reimagine public safety, build new safety systems, uh, but do that, let people feel them, that impact, before we take away what they do expect from the city. Uh, my understanding is that you, you say a lot of the, the, the money that you are allocating to the police department is going to address a, a, an overtime issue here. The last fiscal year, uh, the department exceeded its budget by $32 million. A big chunk of that was in overtime pay. What, why are, are you looking into why that continues to happen? And, and what are the steps that you think should be taken to, to try to keep those overtime hours in check? Yeah, this budget addresses criticism we've received from the city auditor and a grand jury report that says we have traditionally under budgeted the overtime that the community demands. So this is what I call an honest, transparent and right sized budget. We completely rebuilt the police department budget from scratch so people for the first time have an accurate picture of where the money is being spent. Uh, so you will see a big increase in overtime budgeted, but it actually will represent a decrease in the actual spending levels. Uh, we also need to build up the department so that it gets to the strength that we've been telling people we have. Uh, we are authorized mm -hmm. for 792 officers. Today, we only have 709. So this budget also does the recruitment and training for new officers so that we don't have to rely on overtime so much. Uh, last question here on the on the public safety issue, and I want to move on to talking about uh, homelessness in the city. But but obviously, I don't have to tell you that homicides are, are surging in the city of Oakland. Uh, two more deadly shootings just early this morning. How, how does your allocation to the police department uh, curb the violence in the city? Well, and that is what I would say to police abolitionists, uh, other people that were hoping to see giant cuts to police. We have had a gut-wrenching year in loss of life and violence. This is not a moment that we can uh, take back any public safety. What we are doing is we are building new while we are sustaining and doing what we know works, ceasefire. We are also expanding our violence prevention work with case managers. We have a holistic approach to public safety in Oakland, but we are absolutely determined to stem the violence. All right, Mayor, uh, let, let's shift here to, to the other crisis that obviously continues to, to, to get worse in the city of Oakland, unfortunately. Uh, a lot of it obviously having to do with the pandemic, but, but the number of people living on the streets in Oakland, uh, it, it's absolutely unacceptable. Uh, obviously, you would agree with that. Everyone would. Um, your budget plan directs $41 million to, to address homelessness, uh, to pay for interim housing, for more affordable housing options. Uh, you also are going to set up uh, new homelessness units that will monitor 
winter encampments. I'm, I'm curious what that will look like and, 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 you know, more broadly speaking, how much of a difference do you think uh, these various programs that you want to pay for can, can make in terms of addressing the crisis? Yeah, Alex, this budget allocates $41 million for homeless services. That is a historic number for Oakland. And on top of that, another $32 million to build permanent affordable housing. We also are creating our very first dedicated encampment cleaning crews. Uh, we have got to create safe, healthy environments for our unhoused as well as those who are housed and live around them. And so these new dedicated crews will actually double the number of encampments that we are able to regularly service and clean. Uh, while we create the housing, especially the permanent housing to house these people mm. that should not be on the streets, we need to make sure that the conditions are more clean and safe for them. And that's what this will do double the amount of encampment cleaning uh, compared to what we can do right now. All right. Uh, it's such an important conversation uh, that we need to continue having. Always appreciate you taking the time. Oakland Mayor Libby Schaff, thank you for coming on. Thank you, Alex.